Yeah. What's going on, guys? Sinjin Half Funk here with uh, Cameron Carvello. No you know way. No, it's Carvello. But no way. He's gonna call me Carvello for the rest of my life. Forever so now. Yep. Yes. Uh, there's a fire engine passing, so that's gonna get kind of loud. But uh, what did you just do? I went undefeated tonight with Thunder Dragon. With what? In 2021. Let's, with uh, Colossus Band. Needs to stay. Needs to stay banned. No, bring her back to one. No, bring never. her back to one, please. Keep it banned. All right, all right, all right. So let's let's, let's see the spice. Let's see the scoop. All right. So, uh, only hand trap I ran was three of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. It's the best hand trap. Too good. It's so good. Uh, it's twenty dollars is common for a good reason. Uh, and then for the Thunder Dragon monsters, three of just the regular Thunder Dragon discard, add one or two, your choice. Uh, three Dragon Dark, being able to search off the fusion when it leaves field is really nice, and being able to, as a quick effect for synergy with Titan, uh, discard itself and search another one, pretty good. Uh, Roar, being able to recycle things from both Grave and Banished, and also when it's Banished, uh, being able to special summon from decks is busted. super, super good. Um, two main Matrix. Three is too much, but being able to damage step, have one of my monsters gain 500, chain Titan, pop a card on the field. And plus it's a level one, so it's good for uh, Link Rebo as well. And then uh, one Dragon uh, Thunderhawk. The worst one. Uh, not great, but it does help uh, special summon from Grave and Banished. And also the Magical Mallet effect to be able to shuffle cards back from hand comes up occasionally but like it's not it doesn't really come up all that often but when it does it's nice it helps when it does yeah and then one dragon duo uh being able for just a uh thunder dragon if a thunder monster activates its effect in hand gain 300 attack uh it's pretty good and it's it also banishes a light and a dark uh so more synergy for the banished effects uh, that's all the Thunder Dragon monsters for the Chaos package. I'm playing one of each of the baby uh, white and black. I'd play three if I could, but yeah. Konami won't let me. Uh, one Chaos Valkyria. This is really good because it banishes a light or a dark, and then when it leaves field, uh, I can just foolish another uh, light or dark monster from my deck. Uh, really good, and it's also a fairy, which is helpful for a card that I'm going to show in a second. Um, and I play three Chaos Levy because, of course, well, Levy is... It's too good. Um, and then I play a danger package, just a pretty small one. One Souk, one Jack, one Thunderbird, and one Bigfoot. Uh, Thunderbird and Bigfoot are both good level 8 targets because I played Dengirsu in my extra deck. Uh, is really good. That also helps go into it with um, Levy as well because Levy is also a level 8. And then on for the little... Uh, the cute card that I decided to play, Arsene Nemesis of Shatos. card is busted. It's so good against monotype decks. Uh, kills Earth Machines, kills Altergeist, kills anything that summons one type of monster. It would kill Salads, it would kill in Adagnister. I mean, it kills a lot of decks. Um, and then onto the spells, we have three Melody of Awakening Dragon, making Chaos Dragon Levy a near searchable, and also a Shatos searchable. Uh, two Chaos Space, I'd play three, but one of my buddies has my third. Uh, same thing with the Allure, one of my buddies has my third. Uh, Thunder Dragons is kind of the only deck I know that can go uh, plus advantage with Allure of Darkness by banishing a dark. Um, and then for the spell cards, one Thunder Dragon fusion. You only need one because Colossus is banned, unfortunately. And, um, yeah, no. <laughs> um, and it's... You know, I'm only going to use it for the one off of Titan, and it's searchable off Dark, which is really nice. Uh, Gold Sarcophagus, uh, being able to banish a name from deck and then being able to just get its effects off of there. And it's rarely ever going to stay banished for two standby phases, but if it does, it's good to just get it back in your hand. One Foolish Burial, just to deck thin a little bit. I did play Gizmek Orochi, which was a good target for this, um, but it also just helps to be able to, if I need to Foolish a Dark, Foolish a Dark, Foolish a Light, Foolish a Light. Um, and then just some other uh, kind of, I guess, more filler space uh, to Mystic Mind. Um, it's a card, it's legal, and it's it's good if I can't break their board. If my deck doesn't do what my deck should do. <laughs> exactly, yeah. At least there's mine. At least I can go on to this, and then Harpy's Feather Duster kills it for me. Um, one Book of Moon. This is really in here because I couldn't find my Upstart Goblin, and I needed a 40th card. And then Instant Fusion, which is actually in here for uh, an old goat card, Thousand Eyes Restrict. I'm running uh, Book of Moon because... <laughs> I couldn't find Upstart Goblin. Because yeah. I didn't have an Upstart available. Yeah, exactly. Seems uh, legit. 
But I mean, Book of Moon is like a cute little staple. It's a good interruption and it's also good to go for it, man. It's fun. Yeah, exactly. Uh, On to the extra deck. One Link Karibo. Um, again, Link Karibo is pretty good Link 1. Uh, make attack 0, or it's just a Cybers for Arch Nemesis Shatos. Relinquished Anima for going second. If I have Matrix on field, steal a monster. Really cute. Striker Dragon. I don't play Boot Sector launch, thank God. And I don't play Thunder, and I don't play Dragon Link. But uh, being able to link off white or black, search the other one, and then being able to use this to go into something like Cross Sheep is also quite nice. And then Cross Sheep's effect, uh, if I summon Titan to an area points to, get a level 4 or lower uh, for more link plays. It's really nice. Uh, IP. Uh, IP comes up occasionally. Um, I, if anything, I more use her to go IP into Unicorn, but uh, that doesn't happen a lot. Uh, I guess while I'm on to the Nightmare Package, uh, I also play one Cerberus and one Phoenix. Phoenix is no surprise, but Cerberus is kind of, you know, not a lot of people play Cerberus. Um, Cerberus is good for just clearing main deck, or uh, main monster zone issues. Uh, Reaper Docus, this plus a Shatos, if I know what my opponent's playing, is absolutely insane. Being able to target it, call machine, talk, call cybers, call whatever, to get in the way, it's really nice. Uh, Curious, the Light Sworn Dominion. I think I've only summoned this like once. Uh, I didn't summon it at all tonight, but it's nice to be able to mill cards and be able to get my graveyard active if I need to. Uh, Appaloosa, I can make a four negate Appaloosa, and Appaloosa is just really good. Appaloosa is uh, And then one Ding. Uh, Ding is really good for Chaos Levy, Danger Bigfoot, Danger Thunderbird. Uh, a lot of fun things there. Uh, being able to just send a card on target and be able to protect your cards as well. Uh, one Titan, this card's stupid. Uh, Super good. Colossus and Titan together is an issue. Them by themselves isn't an issue. They did hit the right one, but I think it's time for it to come back. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, no, being able to quick effect, non-target, pop a car on the field, not once per turn, not once per chain, and also being able to just banish two random cards from my graveyard just to protect it from being destroyed by card effects. Again, not once per turn. Um, super, super good. And then Thousand Eyes Restrict for all the GOAT, goat format players. Um, one of the best things I've done, Thousand Eyes Restrict, steal an opponent's monster, relinquished anima, steal an opponent's monster, so steal two opponent's monsters and off of one play. Okay, I'm in. Uh, do you want to show the side deck or you just want to keep it a secret? It's not much of a side. I okay, I feel, I feel, I feel that. I feel that. Um, but make sure you guys, if you guys want to do any remote duels, you can even duel some of these dudes there in the remote duels that we do. We host uh, CM Games, CardMonsterGames.com's remote duels. You can check those out in the Discord that is linked below and on the official homepage of the YouTube. And if you want to get the best prices, as always, I'm making you uh, be the fa poster boy of my uh, my uh, little uh, pitch here. If you um, if you want to get the best prices, use ca ca CardMonsterGames.com. They really do have the best pre-order prices literally around. And you can use code HALFPUNK for 5% off. That makes it an even cheaper thing except for the Warhammer stuff because Warhammer says no. But uh, make sure you hit the, uh, the like button, the thumbs up, and uh, subscribe. Um, we'll keep you guys kind of posted on how these decks have been doing. I know that we've been posting some weird ones. But uh, we'll keep up with you guys. Make sure to jump in that Discord so you don't miss a thing. Thanks, guys. Love you.